uh, you get a free supply and free installation of these new compact fluoros which is which are energy efficient you also reduce greenhouse gas emissions yep so you save yeah, uh, you help saving the N1. The importation of old incandescent globes are uh, banned from this year, November, um, according to the federal government's legislation. So how do you feel about fluorescent lights? No, I don't like them. I hate them. Not pleasant to be around. And they make me angry. <laughs> Tired. There are a number of possible reasons why fluorescent lights, including this new compact fluoro bulb, are considered to be biological stressors. One is that a bulb like this emits large quantities of ultraviolet light, which hardens and sclerosis the lens of the eye, as well as causes skin cancer and many other known problems. Another factor is the frequency. These bulbs are turning on and off 20,000 times a second. And what's even less well known is that a bulb like this actually contains radioactive isotopes. Of all the stresses associated with a compact fluorobulb like this, the one most studied is that the light from this bulb is not full spectrum. The light that surrounds us is actually composed of a spectrum of frequencies from red through violet. And Dr. John Ott was a photobiologist whose research with time-lapse photography showed that humans, plants and animals required full spectrum lighting for normal biological function and for optimal health. Unlike fluorescent lights, light from the incandescent bulbs is full spectrum, as is light from LEDs, which are already commercially available and are 70% more energy efficient than fluorescent lighting. Dr. Fritz Albert Popp, discoverer of biophotons, working at the International Institute of Biophysics in Germany, discovered that cells communicate through subtle pulses of color. Dr. Pop's research, like that of Dr. Ott, demonstrates that non-full-spectrum lighting from fluorescent tubes significantly alters vital biological functions, including the cell's ability to properly reproduce. People with epilepsy have trouble with these lights, the fluorescents. Okay, so you're aware of that? Yes, I am aware of that. Governments of Australia and America are now banning the importation of the old incandescent bulbs and recommending the use of compact fluorescent bulbs. They're also banned in Germany because studies have shown that children sitting under these lights, they did saliva swabs, their saliva had increased levels of cortisol. Well, this uh, is affecting the kidney again. We see this as uh, either a kidney yang or kidney yin deficiency. So it normally shows as a kidney yin deficiency in the person. So in a way, you could almost say that they are under a very low-grade infection.